Hey dad, uh, let me make sure I got my audio settings right here. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Um, all right, so like I said, I found the, um, I found the, uh, the pic picture, Microsoft Office Picture Manager installer for you. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so don't worry about what I'm doing. Uh, I'm on Linux. <clears throat> Here, I'll prove it to you. There, I'm on Linux. Uh, so I have a virtual Windows installation here that I can use to to show you how to do this. <sighs> okay. So when I was searching for how to do this for you, I stumbled across this article. Uh, it, it doesn't matter, you don't have to look at this. I'm gonna give you links in the in the description of the video. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, you're gonna be here and you need to scroll down to this part right here. The download Microsoft SharePoint Designer 2010. Don't worry, you're not using SharePoint Designer. Um, First, you're going to have to, before you determine which one of these you're going to use, you're going to need to look at what, uh, whether or not your Windows is 64 or 32 bit. I think all of yours are 64 bit, but I'm not positive. They should all be, and if they're not, you should probably tell me, but I, th I think they will be. Here's how you can check right click on my computer and just do properties and right here 64 bit operating system. So if that says 32, then you need to do the 32, but all of yours should be 64. So I'm gonna have you do 64. Click on that. And scroll down a little bit. Download. Okay, there we go. It's a big file, uh, but luckily Microsoft servers are fast, so it'll download pretty quickly. Yeah, it's not going to take 30 seconds. Or maybe it will. But it's fast. Okay, there we go, completed. So, we'll go ahead and open that up. Ah, shit, I already installed it. Well, don't worry, it's, it's, it's easy. Oh, here we go. So I'm gonna remove what I have here first. Um, I don't know, so this says Microsoft SharePoint Designer. This doesn't say anything about Office. So you shouldn't have any kind of a conflict with your version of Office, although I can't be positive about that. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I did. So I would say try it on one of your lamer laptops, maybe, um, not your main one. But anyway, I'll start from scratch, so I'm gonna remove this. And obviously, as you're going through this, uh, actually for your first one, you should probably call me, but I wanted to at least get you on your feet here, uh, instead of just waiting for... <sighs> instead of uh, waiting for me. So, this is going to try to... Let me get rid of this. This is going to try to access the internet. Don't let it. There's no reason for it to access the internet, and I denied it every time, and it uh, it didn't cause any problems. So... Just to be sure, I will show you all of the steps I took. Yeah, You don't have to do what I'm doing right now. This is just to show you what pop-ups you're going to get for uh, 
this installation trying to connect. Just deny them all. I mean, it doesn't matter which ones are doing it, but you want to deny all of them. A reboot is necessary. Sure, let's do it. Pretty cool that I can do this in Linux, huh? There we go. Alright, so go back to that. Uh... Alright, so that says Office, but... Uh, okay, right. Microsoft set up Bootstrapper. Deny. And do not do install now. Go to Customize. So this is the part where you need to pay attention. This is the part where you're actually doing stuff. So uh, <clears throat> you have a very limited set of options here. Unfortunately, you can't just choose Don't Do Any in Microsoft Office. For all three of these, choose Not Available. All three of them. Oops, not available, right? And yet it's still going to install 878 megabytes worth of shit that you don't want. But in Office Tools, there is something that you do want. Microsoft Office Picture Manager. Run from my computer. Oh, silence my phone. Bitches. All right. Uh, Microsoft Office Picture Manager under Office Tools choose run from my computer and what is that like 20 megabytes tops so that's it boom install now and this will take a few minutes installing a bunch of shit you don't need I did try looking through this uh, this file to just get you the installer for um, just the installer for the picture manager, but I couldn't find it. So there's nothing that says picture, even if there was, I don't know. I don't know what I would do with it. Uh, Cause it seems like there's a lot of, seems like there's a lot of stuff that depends on other stuff in here. So uh, I wouldn't necessarily be comfortable doing it anyway. Anyway. Um, the method I'm showing you works, so. Get that out of here. So, this might mean that you're going to have two version or two separate installations of Picture Manager on your computer. Um, I'm not positive, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, but um, if you were to completely uninstall Office and then install this, then and then maybe install Office 2013 or 2016 if you care to upgrade, then uh, maybe it'd work, but I don't know, I'm just guessing. So, there it is. Uh, and I promise you, I didn't do anything special. I only did what you just saw, and it's not bothering me about uh, registration or licenses or anything like that. There it is. And it shouldn't be in trial mode. Um, the product... Oh, snap! That's awesome. Yeah, so um, I, I swear I didn't do anything to, to make that happen. That's just the way it, the way it arrived. So... <clears throat> Uh, that's it. I'll put the links in the description of this video. So check it out, give it a shot, and let me know what you run into. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen since you already have this installed. But yeah. Um, yeah, so here it is.